My name is Therese from Baltimore, 29 years old. Just trying to get some ways to avoid the typical manipulation tactics that women use. So I was just asking him if there's anything that everybody should know in general. The woman have the ability to mentally debase a man. She can take you down or she can bring you up, depending on the woman. One of the, the things that women do that a lot of people don't understand is that a woman is going to challenge a man forever and she going to try to break you down to the last compound. Ain't it ironic that the first chapter in the book of the Bible is the book of Genesis <laughs> and it's called the fall of man. And he said, the woman that you gave me deceived me. I didn't make that up. That's how the Bible starts. A woman may not manipulate you in a way you think in a typical way that a man will manipulate a woman, but she can manipulate you in so many ways and she can confuse you on so many levels that if you're not smart, you're not intelligent, you can get caught up in that web. How y'all doing, man? This is your boy Ken Ivy, aka Pippi Ken. I'm back again, man. I told y'all Pippi Ken, better known as Bobby's best friend. Hey, man, check this. I got some real ism with me today, man. Listen, I went all the way to the Apple, man. I took a <coughs> bite out that motherfucker, right? I brought the motherfucking last. Y'all know what I said about you. I said, with all the buildings in York Falls, Pippi Ken will still be standing tall. I'm still here international, nationally recognized, and locally accepted. Hey, man, who we got in the building today, man? Man, listen, man. You got that one and only, man, fashion, man, that main attraction, man, that sidewalk Romeo, man. Most easy to leave what pleases me is a money-making hoe, a fancy car, funky crib, much diamond rings and gold. The most of all my pleasures is a chunky bank roll, man. Hey, man, that's what I'm talking about. Let that shit stack like dirty laundry, man. <laughs> so, hey, fa uh, fashion, man, you know, this this going to be a very tricky interview because I have a lot of questions, right? I mean, a lot of people, they see you and they hear you popping your pimping, man, and they like, man, listen, look at my LRPs coming from the OG. But what they don't know, man, is you did 27 years in the penitentiary, man. First of all, I wanna ask, first question I want to ask you is what did you go to jail for? And uh, was you pimping at the time that you went to jail? Yeah, I was pimping at the time with the jail. I'm not pimping no more. You know what I'm saying? No, 27 years, the statute ran out. Yeah, I was pimping when I went to jail. I went to jail for murder. You went to jail for murder? Yeah, for murder. So you actually killed somebody? Well, that's what they say. So allegedly killed yeah, somebody? Yeah, allegedly. So at the time, uh, was you in the game? Hard body and all four feet. So can you explain what happened, you know, to the people out there, you know, that might be like, man, how do a pimp go to jail for uh, murder, man? Can you explain the story to them briefly? Yeah, real quick. I'll run it by you real quick. Yeah, uh, as you know, I'm from New York City. You know, one of the fastest cities in the world, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I was real deep in the game. I had the baddest chicks in the game in New York, and it caused a lot of jealousy, you know what I'm saying? If if you ain't really pimp, you might do anything. Mm -hmm. People make up their own rules, and that's what gave the game a black eye. You dig what I'm saying? So they were saying they couldn't eat with me on the street, so they wanted to remove me. And they still ain't eat after I left. Because they were no pimp. Uh, traffic. Ted Kenny out there, met the ball. Okay, okay. I'll get right. your number from G Gun, my at you. Yeah, much love. For sure, man. Love, Church. Church out here. Yeah, you, with see, the you see little P out here. Yeah, with the biggest P of the P's, man. The biggest of the biggest, man. You hear me? Yeah, what's going on, man? Yeah, what's the big church, man? Yeah, you know we live in the ATL. What's going on, man? It's Young Free, man. Yeah, with the OG. That's how the whole came. Bitch, you know who you fucking with? I ain't no lanes. Unc Big told me how to whip up the cocaine. Bust and chase swiping cars like it's the dope game. Bitch, if you walk in this bank, you getting a new range. Nigga, if you really got rank, then we can do things. Will I really be in my duffel? I feel like two chains. Got it all back in a hurry like this a new way. In the trap, next to my chopper, playing 2K. Hit Nemus, cash on my son, they know his daddy paid. Hit my knees, pray to the Lord that we see better days. All this money came off a of Senate, don't see a better way. If you owe me some money, uh, then you better pay. 1300 and change cost that a Louis Grind hard, keep hoes out your business, and you can be like me. All I need want to do is just to be like me. This shit done went further than that nigga, as you can see. I'm on alert, a thousand pounds in the B and B. Fuck around, be up in your town, kick it with S and me. Like I put the word around, nigga, don't play with me. Ask your man, they gon' tell you, boy, don't play with him. I'm in the A serving bags like we baby knew. Yeah, man, a boss medic at the HHS shit. You know what I'm saying? 
Yeah. See, Pimp Ken was in here earlier, and he put the pimp spirit in the air. Give me, give me some gangster shit. I'm just gonna get the book when it come out. I'm out. Best book in the country. Best seller book in the country. Period. Right. This book right here, Pimp Ken laid it on me. My God. <laughs> Cross the tracks, man. Now, now let's talk about this book. And Ken is the homie. He's he a legend. He a legend. I fuck with Ken Stevo. Uh -huh. They came to me with, you know, Simon Schuster. All to me, you the shot call. When you write a book about somebody, it's about what they've been through. I saw my first nigga get killed. I was, yeah. I was in school. Nigga was trying to bring me 17 pounds. And I got cancer. With my AT, Keisha died. Everybody was dying. I ain't, I ain't think I was gonna make it. Me and Revy never hung out together. That's what this book uh, the world don't know. And we never been in the streets together. Master P was in their heyday, they came. They moved to Baton Rouge, so I saw these dudes all the time. Matter of fact, I broke them over dick girl car. When I saw how big they was, all these niggas riding around in big trucks. My show was like 1200, and I got a pocket full of money. I went and got play up, dog. I went and got fresh every day. I was thug, man. Every week I was on some shit. Fight, shootouts. Peace. Hey, how you doing? This is James C.B. Gray, President and National Spokesperson for the Hip Hop Fraternity. Thank you for watching the trailer of the making of an autobiography of a celebrity featuring Little Boosie. Hey, Jim, this is your boy, Pimp the Kid, man. I want y'all to go get my new book, The 48 Laws of the Game, Pimpology, man. This is the book that everybody is reading. They love it in the prisons and selling all over the world. Everything that your father, your uncle didn't teach you, this book will. This will give you a whole lot of game. And it's for men and women. And if you want to be a winner, go get my other book, The Art of Human Chess. This is bestseller. Both of my books are bestsellers. And if you want to get the book, just go to thehiphopfraternity.com. Go to the link, books, and hit the word, hit book. If that don't work for you, go to amazon.com. If that don't work, go to audible.com. Type in my name, Pippa Ken. I guarantee you that the book will pop up. You just order the book. We got the audio book. We got the hardcover. We got the paperback. Anything you need, just go to any one of those platforms. Barnes & Noble, Books A Million, and get the book.